Point by three quarters distant memory. Capanda going up there deeper around four seen. And they're being followed by Rees Rocket caught a bit wide in running. Over on the inside, the favourite La Moulin. She's looking for an opening coming to the corner. Just shunted away back behind them and then Cruahan going up near the centre. Ratana Beach following it coming around the bend. Deeper out Fontaine Bleur. As they go to the 250 distant memory had reached the lead though. Distant memory in front from on the outside. Rees Rocket, Cruahan. Now La Moulin. She spots Rees near the inside, driving through, Cruahan in front, but look at La Moline, La Moline, Cruahan, La Moline too good, scraping the fence, and La Moline too good for Cruahan, wanted by a neck, two length, sixpence spent, all bold success, might be sixpence spent though, in a bob of the heads for the miners, and then Rotana Beach deeper out, followed by four seen, Salty next home, then Rees Rocket, next home behind them, Capanda, captivated point, both dropping out, so did distant memory after being there around the corner, well back on the field is Fontaine Bleu and a long last all the way, Le Sacre. Just no stopping them. No stopping the juggernaut. Kruahan loomed up, looked good, but then all of a sudden there was that ominous shadow of W. Pike sneaking up on the rail. La Moline, she was travelling at the same time. And she's gone home better than Kruahan and sixpence spent. Might have just got the lift on the line to grab third from bold success. 14, 7 and 4. The placings will be La Moulin, 2.10 and $1.20. Kruahan, $1.80. Sixpence spent, $5.30. And so it's uh, three out of the first seven for the day for Peter's investments, including the feature. A showcasing mare, La Moulin. She's out of the Don Eduardo Mayor Kales, trained by Adam Durant, a double for Adam, treble for William Pike, and at the time 111.89 with a split of 35, 65, and a long neck by two lengths. A long neck by two. So uh, Pike there, he was going to get the rails run. Don't think there was ever any doubt about that. Uh, fourth placing, I'll just confirm fourth as they come up. It's 14, 7, 4, 11 getting the nod, bold success for fourth place, just to confirm all of that. Yeah, the run came captivated point there just in his road for a little bit, but was getting awfully leg weary. And if uh, you give Pike a centimetre, he normally takes a mile when he's there in that type of a position. So once the run came, you could almost sense, even though Kruahan had had a lovely run, was in full flight, one sense that it would be La Moulin that cut him down in the final part. And uh, again, it's um, a case of being, um, well, I, I guess a carbon copy of so many of his rides there when he just scrapes the fence and gets the job done. So 14, 7 and 4 after the running of race number 7. La Moulin, the winner, four years of age. He's now won three out of six. Double for Adam Durant, three for W Pike. Three for Peter's investments. She beats home Kruahan by commands from Lucky Mascot for Mrs. K.H. Warner, Christine Simpson Stokes, trained by Simon Miller, written by Aaron Mitchell, and sixpence spent, owned by Quinton and Matt Giadresco, a vital equine, two a penny gelding for Pete and Matt Giadresco, Alan Kennedy there in the saddle. The last of the day, the Guinness handicap at 5.30, and uh, final salute there, certainly a great chance there once again for Durant, Pike, and Peter's going into the final event for the day. What a formidable combination they are as well. Here's uh, Gareth joining us now, and he's with uh, Bob Peters yes. after yet another victory. Thank you very much, Darren. It's Bob Peters' is winner's circle these days, and Bob La Moulin, she's a lightly race four-year-old mare, but she's starting to put it all together. Yes, we had to give her plenty of time, and uh, hopefully she can go forward from here, and uh, I, I believe that she will get a, a bit of ground. Adam thinks she may be more of a sprinter, so we'll see who's right. Who's usually right, Bob? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Did she surprise you a little bit this prep? No, not at all. I've always had a lot of time for her, and uh, as I said, I've seen her as a potential stayer, so I'll probably be wrong. How many times have you seen Willie Pike in that position get out? Yeah, mostly he gets out. Yeah, sometimes, he sometimes he doesn't. <laughs> he was a patient ride. He had no real other option, but... That's why he's the best, I guess. No, he was stuck in there, and uh, sometimes the runs don't come, and uh, we have to accept that. Another good day.
So far, it's been good. Another one to go. Yes, hopefully. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. There's Bob P. There's a Matty Kelly. You'll be catching up shortly with Willie Pike. It was another gem of a, a ride by the Wizard. It's unbelievable, really, the way this place is going. You uh, just got to stand back and admire another treble after dominating here on opening uh, Saturday last weekend. And, you know, whether it's one off the fence and pulling wide into space or getting the rails run, he, he's just been absolutely outstanding again today. We're going to jump in and have a really quick chat with him. William, tell us about this girl, Armaline, and this win up along the rails. It was quite an effort. I know she's a very good girl. The bird had flown, and I was lucky she goes quite good and has a great turn of foot. She got me out of trouble. I want to ask you if you believe in the words in the zone, for one, and whether you're there at the minute. I definitely don't feel in the zone. I don't think you would have thought I was in the zone if you seen me at the 500. But, uh, look, no, I'll get some... Get to ride some very well-bred horses, very well-prepared and very well-trained. On this particular occasion, the horse made me look good. And the day's not over yet? No, it's not. Well done. William Pike, a very happy William Pike. And why not? That's win number three for the day. La Moline, the third winner. And it's the seventh race on the program. As for the others, I think Kruishan was a very gallant in defeat. Uh, there's a win not far around the corner for that Simon Miller Galloper. And Sixman Spent was pretty good in third as well, Gareth. No doubt about that, Matty. Thanks for that. Yeah, La Moulin paid around $2.20 on track 210 with Tab Touch. As we head back to the studios, Gavin, another winner to Bob Peters.